uh, represent my school and our country was the most amazing thing I've ever done. Honoring Canada's war dead in the Netherlands. That's after the break. Welcome back to Here and Now, everyone. It happened three generations ago, but the sacrifice of Canadian and Newfoundland soldiers during World War II is now a lot more real to a group of students from Cornerbrook. About 30 of them represented this province last week in Europe, as people there marked 60 years since armies from here ended Nazi terror. Here and Now's Doug Greer met up with some of those students today, and Doug joins us now live from Cornerbrook. Yeah, well, it might be too much to call it a life-changing experience, but the students at Cornerbrook High did have their eyes opened. First, about that quilt. Every student on the trip made a square in honor of a fallen soldier. And they carried it proudly at the celebrations in Holland of the end of the war. Like, I can't speak to how, to how powerful it is to really go to another country like that and see how uh, how appreciated we are as Canadians for what we could do for the Netherlands as well. The graves of Canadian soldiers killed freeing Europe. No wonder today's young Canadians got the greeting they did. Uh, we realized how much the Netherlands like respected us. Really it made me appreciate being a Canadian that much more knowing what we've done because I never really understood it beforehand. We are the dead short days ago. We live felt down. Carly Keeping got to read that most famous of all commemorations to wartime sacrifice. It was a really special feeling knowing that all the Canadians helped out over there and that they're being honored. The students and their families paid about $4,000 each to go on the trip. For some, it started as just a tourist jaunt through Europe. But that changed. Give me the um, pride. A sense of pride to represent the country just made me feel very special. It was the kind of lesson no history class could teach. It's very difficult for them to uh, gain a true appreciation of events like this just by reading them from a textbook or seeing a video in a classroom. They really need to, uh, to experience it. And the school learned something too, and that's the importance of letting students live a bit of history. Now, coming up in a couple of years is the 95th anniversary of a devastating battle from the First World War. And the school is uh, already planning to be involved in that commemoration. Live in Cornerbrook, I'm Doug Greer for Here and Now.